liquid. Oh no! These are my thoughts after EG faced off Team Liquid at the semifinals at ESL1 Genting 2018 best of three match. Crystal, it is you. I have not seen you for... Oh, it's been so long. Let's start off looking at Evo Genius' draft and then Liquid's draft. Since Fear is dominant with Lycan, Liquid first banned it in all games. So that means we right off the bat see Evil Genius have similar picks and heroes that they're familiar with. Terrorblade Fear, RTD Storm Spirit, and Sumal Omni Knight. These three core heroes were the heroes that Evil Geniuses played best with. So it has a similar playstyle. The current tactics that EG kept running was still solidly evident. They were focusing on mid to late game more than anything because these cores could go there, or so it seemed. On this timber saw. He's just beating away this tower slowly. Between the Bloodstone as well as the Hum, they're gonna be able to jump on Matama Man. That's a big kill if they can get it. He's silenced up as well. They're He's definitely trying to finish him off, but GH is keeping him alive. Now he can turn, gets off the drain onto Sunder. No, Fear. it doesn't go off in time. Fear again brought down another drain. This time it's gonna be Chen who falls. A toss back on his mail. And Liquid, they've taken enough of Evil Geniuses down. They're going to the Tier 3. Misery doesn't even know what to say at this point in time. What a toss into the drain as well. RTZ is left no alone dying. against the tide of Team Liquid. Everyone is still pretty much at full HP despite all of that. Mind Control tosses Miracle up in the air. Every single time, there's like no damage being done. From game one, we notice a complete demolishing and slaughterhouse of Evil Genius. Liquid clearly have done their homework and created a death lineup against Evil Geniuses and their playstyle. Since EG have three cores that are really farm heavy, Liquid put intense pressure on the early game and they decided to continue putting pressure. That was their tactics. Furthermore, they picked heroes like Tiny, Io, Pugna, and Timbersaw. All these heroes were extremely good in the early game but also mid game and these heroes were very good to help one another. As you can tell, Io can help beef up Timbersaw and Tiny quite easily. In this clip, we see a, a miracle perspective of how single-handedly Team Liquid bait and destroy evil geniuses. So if they go on a Timbersaw, there could conceivably be a relocate gang coming in from the Wiz Tiny. And if they've lit, blown everything on a Timbersaw, I can't imagine that going well for EG. Yeah, and right now it's quite scary as Mind Control has finished up his Blink Dagger. He's going to get the last hit to Matama Man as another tower gets cleaned for Team Liquid. At top lane, though, Ward's going to spot RTZ. He's pinging like mad. He really wants something out of this. Look at Miracle. He spots Miracle once there. again. He's already got the reactive armor stack, so it's going to be a tough kill. They've got the Paralyzing There's cast. The good position. Miracle dropping lower and lower. Gets it's so much damage. damage. Takes the timber saw. Miracle jumping away. RTZ He's so low. trying to finish him off with the magic. That's not enough. GH keeps him alive. He's and out of mana. RTZ is completely out of mana. He's shot and he's down. Miracle. He baits evil geniuses and still manages to stay alive. As we can tell, Team Liquid had a direct counter to evil geniuses. Further, game one made EG question themselves and their tactics. It also put a dent in the heart of the boys in blue. Following the loss of game one, evil geniuses crumbled and were devastated. Wow, as you have 10 minutes now to recover, try to figure out what went <laughs> that wrong That was half the game time. That was the <laughs> In fact, we see the same bashing by Liquid in game two. They go for a push of their own with no metamorphosis here. And a great initiation. Two man stun follow up with another two man stun burrow strike. Team Liquid is on point right now. Another buyback, this time from Samael, but it's left in a two versus five scenario. Team Liquid, you can have the bottom lane. We'll take the whole hog as Samael is going to be another stuck pig. The purpose of this video is to show how evil geniuses can get better and to show their weaknesses and or strengths. It is also made to be an eye opener. Team Liquid have demonstrated to EG that there are levels to this game and that they are one or two steps beyond EG. I previously stated that EG must learn to use their lineups besides the Lycan strat. 
Liquid are famous for playing well together and doing research on their enemy team. This is why they won TI7. Well, that's so much farm if they can actually get him, but Fear, he's being kind of chased away. He has to deal with the bear now, so it's up to some mail and crit to be able to catch him. GH is here, the Guardian Angel! He kicks Spirits away, and Evil Genius is well And mail. he finds a regen again. That's so much farm if they can actually get him, but Fear, he's being kind of chased away. He has to deal with the bear now, so it's up to some mail and crit to be able to catch him. GH is here, the Guardian Guardian Angel! He kicks Miracle away, and Evil Genius is well and he finds a regen again! Oh. Moreover, if the boys in blue want to win TI8, they must practice hundreds of games and create new lineups that work effectively as a group. They should hold their heads high and be very confident, because they did make it to the semifinals of ESL1 against the best teams in the world. This means that EG can have a good strategy at defeating every team except Nubi and Liquid. So if TI8 were to take place today, hey, top 3, top 4 for EG is not bad. But this is not what they're looking for in the long run. This is not why they kicked the Universe. With Universe, they probably would play better, honestly. But what Evil Geniuses have decided to do with these new changes and these new lineup roster moves is play for the long run. Losing to Team Liquid is actually quite beneficial for Evil Geniuses. As we have learned from the battle with Liquid, it is not just one man that wins the Dota game, but it is a team effort. As Evil Genius look to play more tournaments in 2018, Crystal's Dota will be there every step of the way. With that being said, I'm out. Subscribe today. We seriously love Dota. Bleed blue.